Hey everybody, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video, and today I am going to be doing base reviews, and I want you guys to vote for the what you think is the best base. I'm going to be doing three bases with people very close in levels, so I'll be doing CC Tramps, who's a level 39, Eddie, and, sorry if I mispronounced this, Gaieth, BDJ. Uh, th th these three bases, they're similar in trophies, similar in level, so let's let's see where they're at. Okay, so first thing I noticed is he has all his mortars in the middle, which is good. I can tell he really wants to protect his storages because he looks like he has a lot of elixir. He does. He has about 600,000 or 500 and something thousand of it. Um, also has a lot of gold, so that's good that he has that in the center. I like his setup, how he separated all his um, uh, collector collectors on the outside as resource gainers. And he took his main collectors on the inside. That's, that's very smart. His wizard towers are in a good placement. The one thing I would recommend for this base is putting his air, def air defense in the middle. But uh, this defense is pretty good. Okay, let's check our next one. That's base one, guys. So if you guys think that's the best one, put base one in the comments. Now our next one is going to be Eddie. Let's check out his base. Level 40, 1,100 trophies. Okay, so right away I noticed his walls are a lot different from the last one. They aren't as strong. Um, his mortars are in the middle, which is good. He has a good little setup with his wizard's towers here, which is smart. He's setting up his air defense to level 4, which is a good idea. And he keeps his resource collectors close on the outside for his cannons in order to attack them. And as you can see, his mortars reach all the way around this base, which is nice. Um, smart to put his builder's huts out here. Because sometimes people forget those, and that could be the difference between two and three stars. Um, one thing I noticed for this base, though, is I would switch this archer tower up top because so our so he could reach more out with his army camp. You don't really need it down here. You already have the cannon, and then the two mortars. I understand his reasoning because he wants to make it symmetrical with defense here, defense here, defense here, defense here. But I think it would be best because his top part right here you could get to that town hall pretty easily with some wall bombers and some giants so I'd put that archer's tower up there uh, just my suggestion but you guys can vote on this base if you think it's the best this is base number two and finally we have base number three Gaieth BDJ Okay, as you can see, his base, there isn't very much left of it. Um, from what I can see, his town hall is in the middle, which is good. Obviously, it got protected from an attack. I'm um, reading this attack. You can see that somebody used wall breakers over here, and they were going for the gold. They obviously didn't get all of it because, dang, he has a lot. Um, his mortar right here in the middle is good, level 4. I think he should put one by his gold. He is protecting that. And I'm not a big fan of people putting walls right around their town hall. What's the point? I mean, if they're going to get to those walls, obviously they've killed everything around it. So you might as well use that to protect everything else. Good that he has his mortar here. He can protect all his collectors over here. Um, he has a cannon down here, level 7, which is nice. Archer's tower, cannon, elixir storage cannon. So he has great defenses on the outside of his base. And he puts his elixirs on the outside. Um overall I'd say this base is pretty good I'd definitely put his clan castle in the middle and make sure it's always stocked with troops he doesn't have any troops right now that's a pretty good layout and pretty typical for someone who's level 39 or 40 but uh, this is base number 3 you guys can vote for it personally I think base number 1 had the best defense uh, but that's up for debate you guys can talk about it in the comments and see or we'll see which one wins and i'll let you guys know on my next base review anyway this has been another clash of clans video um let me know what you guys think like comment subscribe and take it